Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Aston Morant and I have 49ers news. Well, it's part of 49ers news anyway. Let me show you this article. So, as you can see here on NFL.com forward slash news, uh, Adam Sheen, or Shine, uh, NFL.com uh, contribution uh, communist, uh, NFL true or false. So this guy here, true or false on um, individual news. So we're going to go to number five because that is Jimmy G. Uh, three, four, uh, five. Okay, so here we go. Jimmy Garoppolo is off the hot seat. According to him, that's false. Even after a 322-yard uh, performance in a road win. Uh, first of all, Chicago's defense was horrible. Uh, clearly missing injured star uh, uh, Mac. Um, secondly, uh, how many of those 320 yards came consistently of Debo Samuel creating magic after the catch? And lastly, Garoppolo might not have been the best quarterback on uh, Soldier Field yesterday, with Bears rookie Justin Fields turning heads in his best effort yet. And the 49ers, of course, uh, could have taken Fields with the number three overall pick, but uh, uh, I'm not second guessing from there. No, I first guessed it that the team should have nabbed Matt Jones, who could have uh, immediately flourished in Kyle Shanahan's system. But enough about the past. Let's look towards the future. With the Niners under .500 and 3.5 games behind the Rams and Cardinals, do we really think that Shanahan's fully committed to Garoppolo? Trey Lance is raw, no doubt, but when he returns healthy, the spark potential will be too great to ignore. So let's talk about that then. Do I think that there is spark in uh, Jimmy G? After today, they must watch this back at least. Yeah, I think they must watch this back because, like I said, it was the 49ers have always got something jinky with the team. So it's like... The, like the previous games played, we can go from like Q, like um, we do well Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, straight down a slot, like down a slump, crap. But then it can go another way Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Always, and it's all the time. They must look at Q4 first and go, this is how you should play. Like, this is how we, we should play. Now, let's look at Q1, Q2, and Q3. And look at the difference. Because we're going up against the Cardinals next week, Sunday. And um, I'm not nervous. I'm fully positive. I do believe we could do really well against the Cardinals. Um, Jimmy is, is good. Leave your comment. Tell me what you think. I'd like to hear your opinions. Me personally, I think he's good. He's not very good. He's not great. He's not very great. But he is good. Like, that that day showed you that he, he still got the spark. It's just when the spark lights and he goes. There have been some reports that um, have said Jimmy G um, was only doing it because his family was there. It was in his hometown and his family was there. That's why he did the two touchdowns. That's why he got the spark out. You tell me. Um, honestly, you tell me, guys. I've probably been more shocked that if that is true. But if he can play like that, he should be able to play easy against the Cardinals, 100%. I do believe Jimmy G could do well. If he can prove us wrong and does great, and my God, we could be in for a good season if we come back on a positive. But, and that said, Trey Lance, Trey Lance, you know, we haven't seen yet the full potential because Carl Shanahan hasn't put him in really full potential. But Jimmy G, I think he could do well. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens during the week. So yeah, uh, leave your comments, tell me what you think about the article. Thank you very much for the 50 subscribers as well. Very fortunate. I will appreciate you, uh, you guys subscribing if you're new. Subscribe, I'll be a lot more 49ers news during the week, reactions, uh, reviews, and I also got a twi uh, Twitch account for um, my gaming, streaming, and so forth. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys uh, on my next video.